Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me again today. So I am still playing with this um, beautiful Craft Your Life kit by Ultra New, the Splendid Bouquet kit. I did create a couple of cards. You might have seen them on my last video. But when I buy these kits, I like to try and get as much as I can out of them. So I'm still on a bit of a rush of using this new kit. But I thought I would incorporate today this little mini technique block stamp in with my card. So I'm not quite sure where I'm going to go with this yet. I have a little idea in my head. I've stamped, this is the image from the stamp set. So I have stamped that and I've coloured that. I coloured this with my Distress Oxide inks. So these actually look really good with um, for blending with your stencils. So just a little tip, if you are using your Distress Oxides for blending, you'll probably find that because they layer and they're that opaque consistency, they do tend to blur your lines. So leave your stamp in your stamp positioner and then re-stamp over the top just to bring all the black lines back in. So I've got that stamped and ready to go, but I'm not sure if I'm going to use this or if I'm going to use the embossing folder. Not 100% sure yet, so let's see where this goes. I really just wanted to have a play with this little technique block. So apparently you can do lots of techniques with this. Um, it kind of reminds me a little bit of a jelly jelly press, is that what you call them? The, the jelly jelly mats. I actually haven't tried that. Um, that's not in my wheelhouse, but I thought this was nice and tiny and this might actually be a good start. So this is, I think it's about three by four. Let's have a little look just to give you an idea on measurements. Yep, it's a little under three inches by four inches. So this is going to make a perfect little spot to nestle my focal point on, whether that be the embossing folder or the stamp. So I'm going to just position this on my card panel and I have cut my card panel down. So this measures four by five and a quarter. Just wanting to make sure I've got that straight and relatively centered on my card. Oops. It might be a little bit too far to the left. Gosh, how difficult is that? Okay, I think we're good. Should we just to give us a bit of an idea? We're pretty good, yeah. So I'm going to pick that up now with my door. Move my tea out of the way. Okay. I'm going to go in first with the Kitsch Flamingo. And I'm trying to get a bit of a um, mix of colour on this little piece here. So I'm just going to stamp the bottom of it or ink up the bottom of it. And then I'm going to use the tattered rose for the top part of the stamp. Now I want to make sure as well that I'm not um, going over the top of this because I don't want to transfer the ink. So you can see that there is a little line there, but I'm going to fix that up. So I am going to try and blend that now. I need a, I need a brayer. Where will you find one of those? Um, let me see. Here we go. I might just use this little one today. So I'm just going to bray out some of this ink. This is just going to blend it a little bit so that those two colors end up together. And also I'm hoping it's going to give it a bit of a smoother finish as well. So that looks pretty good, I think. So let's get that onto my card. So 
So I am putting a little bit of pressure on this. I want to make sure that I get a nice even print. Let's see. Oh, that's nice. It's just a little bit at the top there that we've missed from that stamp. Let's come back in and grab that. That's pretty. Okay, so what I was going to do now, I did pull out these other stamps. And I thought I could have another a bit of texture on this part here by using one of these texture stamps. So these are the old Kayser Craft stamps. I don't know if they're still available. You may be lucky enough to get them. So I've got the bricks and I've also got the diamonds. So we could use the diamonds or the bricks. I think I might go with the bricks. So what I'm going to do here now is Shall I use, gosh, all these decisions, you're seeing this completely on the on the hop here. I'm going to use a deeper colour. I'm going to go with the picked raspberry. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to ink up just a section of this stamp. And I'm going to just stamp on top of this block. So I'm trying to also make sure that my bricks are straight. There we go. So I haven't added any extra ink to that stamp. I'm just going over the top of what was left. I might just, just a little bit up here. How's that? Yep. Okay, let me give that a bit of a clean. Now, I think this colour is going to be a little bit too bright for what I have here. So what I might do first is I think I might stamp off. I've got some scrap paper. I'm going to stamp off this image before I add it to my card panel. So I don't want it to be too strong. I just want a, um, a subtle look in the background. Yeah, that would have been way too much. That there even looks a little too much. There we go. Right. Okay, let's see how we go. So my first thought was using a script stamp, but I wasn't sure. I did think that if I had used a script stamp, by the time I stamp it, my words may be back to front. So I've just gone with something um, plain and simple. A little bit more pressure, maybe. Again, I'd rather have it um, too light so I can build my color up rather than there we go perfect that's better okay kind of happy with that that's a bit of a cool look clean that off That's really cool. You could add another stamp to that. I wonder if you could even use stencils on this. It's kind of giving me like, like I said, gel plate vibes. Gel plate, gel press. I don't even know what they're called. Okay, I have my um, card panel here. And I also have my embossing folder. And this is where I need to make a decision. I don't know whether I want to just run this through my embossing folder. Oh. Sorry, quick cup of tea. 
So this would look nice. Just ran through your embossing folders like this as another little idea for your embossing folders. Quite like that. But I did go to all that effort of doing this stamp. I think I'm liking this. So I could go right, oh, if I go right across the top, you're not going to um, see all of that background work. Well, this could work. Let's try this. I think we might try right here. What do you think? Oh, maybe I should put it towards the bottom more. Because I'd put this towards the bottom and I could just cut that. Oh my goodness, too many decisions. Oh, okay, yep, I think I might go this way. Yep, that's how I'm going to do it. Right. So I've also um, cut this out twice. So it's just layered up a little bit. Um, let me get some glue, maybe, on the back of this. haven't gone too far down there because I think that that is going to end up cut off the card but let's see how we go how did I have it this way this way this way maybe that way okay let's stick that there let's pop a block on this I have a card base And I'm thinking, I'm thinking we might pop some ink around the edges. Is that dry? It should be dry. Very good. Let me just slide that out of the way for a second. So you could use cardstock here, but I'm just going to use my ink, and then that way everything coordinates beautifully. Um, shall I use the bright pink or the lighter pink? Oh, this one. Maybe this one. I have a sentiment. I am going to use these sentiments it's up here. Um, oh, decisions, decisions. I think I might stick with the kitsch flamingo because it's kind of in between, isn't it? It's not too light and it's not too dark. So when I'm inking my card up here, I'm not stressing about getting it in the middle. I just want it around the edges. Okay, that's all we need. Right, so we've got our card panel here. Now, I'm not quite sure whether I should cut it off of the card or off of the panel. What do you think? If I cut it here, it's probably easier to cut it. Ooh. Um, I think I might cut it 
from the panel. We've got a um, chopper, a trimmer. So I could do this with scissors, but I never seem to get it straight with scissors. So this is the next best thing for me. Oh goodness, we are chopping through a bit of paper here. There we go, that's better. Okay, yep. I wonder if we could pop these. Oh, we could do, couldn't we? Right, let's get this on my card base first and then we can come back to that later. Um, going to grab my tape because I might find that all I need is my sentiment. I may not need those little extra bits. centered there I think so my card base is slightly off just down here you can see I might just trim that too let's just quickly do that because that's going to annoy me otherwise so I'm just going to take a sliver off side there and then we should be good look at that perfect right so I did have this piece here and I have got my sentiments so if you watched my previous um, video you would have seen how I did these sentiments using the little template so I sat off camera after that video and pre-stamped a heap of these so I have gold but I don't think the gold goes. I do have black. The black would look okay because we've got black in the stamping. Oh, I kind of like the black. Black. Um, and I also have the pink. Let's just stamp some in pink. Oh, the pink's pretty too. Hmm. I think I'm going to go with the black. I think. And I still have this little piece here. And I think, I think I would like to use that. What do you think? I feel like perhaps it's a little bit too blank up here. Yep, I'm going to stick that down. Um, blue. Oh gosh, it's just got a bit dark in here. It's starting to rain again. I really need to get to the shops and organise something for dinner. But when the weather's like this, I don't really want to go anywhere. I'd rather stay right where I am here. Okay, yep, I think that looks better. I think, let's just grab the other pink one just to see. Oh, maybe we should do pink or black. Oh my goodness, I thought this would be easy with the sentiments already done. Let's go black. Now where to put it? Here? I think here. I might just nestle it just in here, I think. Yep, right there. Just a little bit of glue. And you can see too, those colours from that stamping have um, settled into the paper a little bit. They're looking a little bit softer now, which I think looks better as well. Just, oh my goodness. Go here maybe. Here. Just 
kind of joins them, doesn't it, I suppose? Well, are we straight? Are we straight? Looks relatively straight. Right, and I think maybe, maybe just some, some gems. Yeah, I think these little pearls just finish it off. Um, maybe we might just go with these smaller ones. Just got to work out where I want to put them now. Maybe here. One. Two. One here, maybe. Here, maybe we'll nestle it in where that where that K is. Right, I only have the bigger ones left, and I think they may be a little too big. So we're just going to stick with these little wee ones here. Whoops. Um, I feel like I need one down here but I don't mm, could pop up here let's, or here let's try here I've only got two that may look a bit silly maybe if I just put one here nestle one yep we could just do that I think I think that's fine I think that looks okay what do you think so there is my finished card. Again, using that splendid bouquet, Craft Your Life by Alton New Set, and this really cool little block. So this little block, mini technique block. Where's it gone? It's in my stamp platform still. Mini technique block. I do have these available on the website um, if you're in Australia. But yeah, you could do lots with this. I'm keen to have another play, see what else we can do with this little um little stamp. It's a bit of a yeah, bit of a little mystery, which I think may have lots that we can play with here. My brain's working over time now. Anyway, that is it for today. That's my card. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found some value in it. If you did, I would love for you to click the like button, consider subscribing. Thank you again for all your beautiful comments. I love reading them all. Um, and if you've also got any ideas for me at all, if there's something that you would like me to try, let me know in the comments below because um, it's easy to go off on my own little tangent. But I'd love to know what you would like me to try and create for you. Anyway, until next time, enjoy your day and I will chat to you soon. See you later.